understand that I've been a bit dramatic in my past hate comments videos, so I'll try to be a bit nicer in this one. I was honestly just being myself and I didn't see any harm in what I was doing. I can kind of see what you guys are talking about. I was a little dramatic in those videos. So, gonna try and make a change. Yes, I still hate it when people are ignorant. Yes, I still hate it when people are dramatic. In fact, my new favorite idiom is mountain out of a molehill, which means you're overreacting. But I will try to be kind about it. It's hard to because it's one of my hugest pet peeves. Do you ever have those crazy pet peeves that turn you into a serial killer? It's like that. I used to react to those like crazily and swear and everything at it, but now I've calmed myself down. So please don't think I'm being rude, and if you do, sorry. And please don't go harass these people. And I decided to get this background because it's kind of appropriate. For those of you who have known me for a while, yes, this is our old wall of shame, but I'm not going to continue it. I kind of feel bad about it. But I was thinking of putting hate comments in every single box, and then I could use this background for every hate comments video. Yee. I think I'm gonna do that from now on. First hate comment. Hey, Missy, I don't like your video, so don't talk like that in your video. That okay, or else it to your mother. I'm sorry, I don't quite understand what that last part means. It sounds to me like, or else I'll send it to your mother. I think they might have gotten offended because it's about siblings. 10 problems with having siblings. I thought it would be a fun and relatable video. I have a sister IRL. Of course I don't hate her or anything. I love her to death. We like to hang out, but it's difficult because in about a year she's going to go to college. But we're not nearly as bad as when we used to be when we were younger. Thank goodness for that. But other than that, I don't know what was so offensive about my video. And Missy? Um... Missy? <laughs> I'm a teenager now. I feel like only my mom should call me Missy if I'm younger, but okay. And could you elaborate? Again, please elaborate a bit more because I don't understand what you got offended by. If you explain what you got offended by, if I look back at it and see that it was kind of offensive, then yeah, I'll probably let it slide and it's perfectly fine. And then I'll probably just put a disclaimer for that part or something. But when you don't elaborate, there's nothing I can do. And my mom has seen my videos. She's proud of me. It's really cringy when she says I officially hate my life. It's really like trying too hard. WTF is their voice too. I'm sorry, where's my new voice changer? Like, I don't know exactly how to work with it. I don't know if it's like an item because if it is, I don't have one. So if it bothers you that much, if you could please pay for one and give it to me, thanks. I mean, to me, your comment just looks so dramatic. So obviously I must have a voice changer. It's like a life necessity, clearly. But I don't want to waste my allowance on that because I don't want or need it. And this isn't the right to. And cringy isn't a word. It's actually cringe-worthy. And it's 2017, halfway into the year, actually. In just a matter of time, we're gonna be in 2018. Do you seriously still want to use cringe and cringy and cringeworthy as insults? Don't get me wrong, I'm perfectly fine with people saying the words, just I don't think they're very effective as insults anymore because they are so overused, just like the kill yourself and bleach jokes. I'm sorry, but it's so hard to even take this comment seriously. And honestly, your comment is trying really hard to be edgy and rude. If you can't handle it, can you please just click away from the video? It's not that hard. This is not Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty. You just had to click a button, okay? You. You what? There's nothing I can really do about this video because it's already recorded and posted. And I don't have it anymore, so... Also, I don't know what's you about it. Samantha said that my fave singer sucks. Samantha be mean. Yeah, I actually kind of agree with you on that one. She was a bit harsh. And she didn't have to point out to the whole world that she disliked Katy Perry. But may I please tell you that that video was pure acting. We're all fine with Katy Perry here. And if we're not, we don't actually share that we dislike her. And if we do, it's just acting. I learned before pre-K, plus stop screaming. I can barely hear now. You should, or you could make people not be able to hear because you don't say headphone warning. Um, I say headphone warning all the time. 
Let's just move on. You were the ugly, just kill yourself, die in a hole. That's not how you spell that. And no. And I don't really care if I'm ugly. I can look however I please. And why go die in a hole? Why not go die in a puddle of socks? Or go die in a bag of tropical fruit? Guys, be original with your insults. And looks do not matter. It is who you are on the inside that counts. Why haven't people learned this yet? When I was five and went to church, they taught us that it doesn't matter how you look. And even now, they're still having to teach us because kids my age still insult people based on their looks. It's sad. And I don't know if that profile pic is real or not, but I'm not judging you based on your looks. I'm judging you based on how you are on the inside. And on the inside, you're very mean and rude. Not very many people like to hang out with mean and rude individuals. Maybe instead of your face, your heart should change. You overreact too much. Like it's, hey, you need to chill out and stop taking it so dang seriously. I was just responding to the hate. Honestly, I don't really see how I was being dramatic in that video. It's more like the hate comments video with the beagle that I saw I was kind of dramatic in. Like, I know it's hate, but this is just how I respond to it. If you don't like it, just click away, please. If I was really taking it seriously, I would probably have already killed myself. But I don't take it super seriously. Stop being mean, and the reply already answers. Stop. Everyone is one is intelligent. Alright. I'm not even gonna read this comment, can I just read the no offense part? Like I said at the very beginning of that video, no offense solves nothing. It's just like if you stab someone and say, no offense, and that's it. That doesn't solve anything. The police are still going to arrest you. I mean, like you committed murder. I I'm not saying that this comment is like murder at all. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm using that as a mere example to really emphasize on the fact that no offense just solves nothing. It doesn't help. If anything, it makes the comment more awkward. Lol, you must be really mad. Not really, more disappointed. You don't have to be that rude to them. They're probably young and they don't know what they're doing. This comment is fully correct. They probably just don't know what they're doing. But again, that's just my way of responding to hate. Even though I know that a lot of people won't take the advice that I try to give them, or listen to my logic, I just still feel the temptation to say it. In a way, I'm trying to help these people be more mature and I feel like I'm kind of doing the right thing. But yeah, I was kind of rude and dramatic in my older hate comments videos. Grr, you just hate on everyone who hates. It's their opinion, and unless they flat insult, it's rude to embarrass them. And that's what you just did. You're being rude, and you know it. No, I don't. You knew it. Ugh, how dare you, grr. I already said in that video, you ignorant individual, that I'm not hating on their opinion. I am just hating on the fact that they felt the need to share their opinion. I cannot comprehend why people decide to share their negative feelings with the entire world. I find it unnecessary and unintelligent. So, if you could please stop being ignorant and actually watch the whole video before you comment something. Please! Just, just please! Stop! Oh, and by the way, I said at least a million times in that video that I'm fine with your negative opinion. I just don't understand why you decide to share your negative opinion. I don't know what it'll do. You are mean. Actually, I'm LPS Allison TV. 2.30, not clapping. That's great, but... Um... Okay. Now what? You see what I mean? There's nothing to do with this negative information. Not to be rude, but like, you're taking hate comments a little too serious. Some hate comments should be explained or replied in a manner that people need to learn not to hate. And some comments, like kill yourself, should be taken seriously. Sorry if you found this rude. Took the words right out of my mouth. I have so much respect for you right now. Seriously, the reason I reply is, well, for entertainment purposes and also to just teach them or at least make them look from a logical perspective. I like how she says I don't swear, but the video I watched before this literally said the F word, LPS bully. 
Was it by me? I'm not the only one in the world who makes LPS videos, you know. Maybe she's talking about the cyberbully video where, you know, there was a warning at the beginning of the video and in the title and I believe in the comments and I believe in the description. And also where there were typed cuss words and not said cuss words. And you know, it was made, I don't know, like five, six months ago. Logic at its finest, I'm crying. I cannot take these comments anymore, I'm leaving.